Hello, hello, Websy Wongi here. I was going to do another chit chat, something that I've been personally learning in my life. Um, if you're new to the channel, if you just recently subscribed, I go by Websy Wongi. Um, welcome to the channel. Um, it was brought to my attention about something that happened today, something on the topic of being used by people or in some way a better word that I could think of is being a pawn for someone and like one of my last topics it was like the few topics that I've done is about you know this aspect of the yin and yang and then more into you know like love and relationship and now I want to talk more about you know, this idea of being used by others or in some way being a pawn by others. And, you know, our energy, our energy is very sacred. Our energy is something we shouldn't give away lightly. And like, I came across a situation yesterday where I was given this op opportunity to either engage in a conversation and it was really hard because I felt like this person that I know was struggling. But yeah, I felt like at the same time, it really was not, it's not a matter that I wanted to talk to this person, the fact that I really shouldn't engage in a conversation. Um, because I felt like two different things were going on. You know, last time I engaged with this person, it just seemed like, it ended up taking more of my energy than actually benefiting like both of us in some way and it just seemed like it really wouldn't serve both of us in some way and you know I was kind of like because a few times I wanted to interact I seen that they in some way that it, it was like calling me to talk to them it's like should I talk to them should I not and then the last time before I seen them until they left, you know, I felt like I should have talked to them, but I didn't. So I feel like in those situations when you're within yourself, you know, should you talk out or talk out, <laughs> should interact with someone or not. But I feel like in some way your body's giving that, that question for you to make up your mind for a choice depending on do you want the consequences that follow after interacting with someone even if it's just a simple how are you or are you okay today because I feel like we can get in this trap and a lot of us don't realize how powerful our energy space is when we interact with people because let's say this person is really having you know, I'm just going to be blunt, having a shitty day, you know, do we want everything they're collectively keeping inside, do we want everything that they're going through to be brought on us in some way, like, vented on us, and I'm not saying it's wrong to, if you felt, if you feel this need, or this inner voice, guidance, saying, talk to this person, talk to them, but if there's a question, you know, that's kind of your ego, kind of your intuition, but not quite your intuition. It's more about, the, like, you're questioning it. So it's more like a no. It's, you're unsure, so it's kind of like you're reasoning within yourself, should I really talk to this person when you really shouldn't? And I feel like when we go on that, go on our hunches that we're trying to question something, you know, maybe it's a love dynamic, maybe it's a relationship, we're trying to question it, you know, it's our own thoughts, it's our own side of ego, the logic that's not really reasoning, like, like what I said in the other video, you know, the truth is direct, but if there's, like, questions behind, should we, should we not, because the thing is, like, this person left, you know, I'm not going to say exactly what happened, but this person pretty much up and left didn't even tell anybody what was going on and in the back of my mind I'm thinking did I do the right thing now we're getting to the ego where we're trying to reason D did I make the right choice by not talking to this person 
So I feel like when I sit back and acknowledge my choice in this decision, I feel like I made the right choice. My body was saying, don't interact because of just association of this person and kind of like what I talked about in the other video. You know, this person's not really someone you really should associate with. And looking from the outsider's standpoint of observing their life, they really haven't made the best choices in life. So I became the observer of the situation. And I realized my body was telling me not to engage. But the ego wants to reason it. You know what I mean? So that's kind of how you tell should you or should you not interact with something. If you question it, if it's just constant circling over your mind, you really shouldn't. Because I'd rather be in the right state of mind where it's like direct answers are coming to me okay talk to this person talk to this person and then you find out something happens to them and you really blew out your chance but if there's questions if there's just i don't know should i should or not you're weighing the options you really shouldn't you know but if it's direct maybe go with it because that's more of you know your logic reason a direct answer but if you're not getting the direct answer you know stick with something that will actually benefit you in the long run instead of just zap your energy completely and then something came up today <clears throat> something came up today and I was put on the spot about doing something for someone and their friend or whatever you know something reasonable in the community you know, giving to the situation, but at the same time, there was a cost, you know, involved. There was this other person wanting me to do something for them because of their friend needs something when they're underage or something. You know, if you, if you get my drift, pretty much buy them something that they can't get themselves because they're underage. And I'm like, seriously, I've been in situations like that. And it's not really an idea, well, it is an idea problem, but you know, you, you know the storyline. You see where I'm coming from. So to be put in that situation today after, you know, kind of the yesterday, that situation, completely different. You know, it taught me how it's important. If you feel like any any given situation, I know it's hard sometimes to really think what is the best option. And it's so funny, the difference between the two is yesterday I was scrambling in my mind. Should I, should I not? Should I, coulda, shoulda, woulda? And that's all of the, you know, it's not the right direct answer. And I felt like today as I think about it now, as I'm thinking of it, it was more of a direct answer. When that person asked me, can you do this for my friend? Because they can't. It was direct. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, I can't, <laughs> you know, I was like, that's the difference, you know, if you feel like you have to put more thought into it, more reasoning, then it's probably not something you want to involve yourself, but also, too, if you put in these awkward positions that people expect you to do something for their friend or expect you to do something you don't personally feel comfortable, and if it's more of a direct no, then do it, you know. Because I feel like we get in these situations where we always want to be, whether you're male or female, you know, it doesn't matter, gender, whatever. Get in these situations, we all want to be the good guy, you know. Nobody wants to be the hater or nobody wants to be the villain in their own story or do something that disrupts the community or disrupts people's way of life. But I feel like... I personally learn, you know, is this person taking more of my energy, especially with these two scenarios, two different situations, two different people, three people, you know, are they taking more of my energy or can I just sit back from the observer standpoint and realize, no, I can't, I can't do that for you. I'm sorry. If you're not willing enough to get it for yourself, supposedly you're underage, then I'm not going to get it for you. You know, that's pretty much like saying you're a pawn. You know, I'm being used, I'm being an instrument from someone to get something that they want. So is that manipulation in some way? <laughs> you know, and you know, I, I've had this at bad experience 
um, I don't know if I've talked about it. I made a bad purchase recently that I really sincerely regret because I felt like I was lured in for a trap. I mean, I, everyone goes through those cycles. We don't make the best choices because we feel like someone's pressuring us. That's probably not the best option to be in. You know, it takes one bad choice and then you're like screwed. You're like locked in in a corner and you really can't get out. And it just seems like once you say no, the person keeps going and going. And it's like, anyways, to make a story short, I made a bad purchase at the mall the other day, a few weeks ago. And it was really weird how it all happened. And it, it kind of messed up my my card and everything and I had to get a new card and still waiting on it but like I made a bad purchase on something that I thought was going to be good from someone who's pretty much scamming me and it's like I felt like I was divided in my mind you know I know it's not right I know I shouldn't be here what the heck am I doing here you know and it's like it's like something was echoing this is not a good situation um but it's like I couldn't get out of it because I was trapped I felt trapped and it's like it wasn't in a situation where I didn't have a voice or someone you know abused me or someone you know mistreated me where I was you know against held against my will but in my mind I felt like I felt like this person was proing the questions oh you should buy this product you know it's it's once in a lifetime and da 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 and like for me it's like I could see through that but at the same time even when I did say no because I did buy a portion of the product but then when they kept proing the answers and I told them, you know, I'm fine with what I got. Because it was enough, you know. It's just pretty much face moisturizers and help my, you know, my uh, wrinkles and stuff. The blackness around my eyes. And I just went for it because I thought at the time it was right. Until, you know, I made my purchase. Because pretty much what happened is I told the person... You know, I think what I got is fine. And then they're, like, giving me every thing in the book why I should get more. And I end up doing something I didn't feel comfortable. And it really screwed me over. It, like, really screwed me over. And so I went upstairs in the mall, whatever. And the person was selling the same thing the guy down below was selling. And he's like, Have good luck on your products. And I'm like... Damn, I got scammed in and I, what an idiot. But it really helped me understand my mistake in a situation that really helped me with these two situations. And I look back and it's like, maybe I had to go through the stupidity in my mind, really stupid situation, to come out on the other end of this with these two situations. Because I feel like if I didn't go through the stupidity and the awkwardness of feeling pressure that I had to buy something when I really had the choice. But then I wouldn't have learned the lesson. And when these two situations come up, you know, I wouldn't have made the right choice. I would probably end up talking to this person that I knew only wanted the energy from me instead of actually a decent conversation. You know what I mean? And then the person that wanted to use me just so their friend could have something, you know. <sighs> and, you know, I, I don't want people to be in these situations, these awkward positions, or the awkward positions, <laughs> sorry. These awkward situations that they get themselves in and then they end up being in debt or they end up looking back and say, hey, I, I made a screw up, a mistake, and regret and just weigh down on themselves because they're pitiful and they did stupid stuff you know what I mean so moral of the story you know when you get in these situations with people be very careful when you open up how much you open up to people because the thing is we're we're all at some level trying to understand you know when it comes to our comforts when it comes to our needs when it comes to things and 
you know, the everyday basics of life and necessities. You know, when people claim something's good, that doesn't mean you have to buy it. You know, if it smells fishy, if it looks like something decrepit, and what this person's spewing out is all this flowery, cheesy stuff, it, it's probably shit. You know, wrapped up in a bow. So just be very careful at this time. You know, we're, we're headed into pretty much Uranus, which is ruled by, I mean, Taurus ruled by Uranus and Aquarius and stuff. Uh, Taurus of art, Venus, sorry about that. You know, Uranus in Taurus for the next seven years. So we're going to have to be, you know, very mindful when it comes to people. Because Taurus is ruled by the Earth, you know, is an Earth sign in the material world, in the necessities, in comfort, in security, and anything that represents food and the safety within our bubble and intuition and anything that's soft, smells good, touch. So our senses are awakening. You know, I've noticed that personally in my life, in my space and time, that our senses are being illuminated. And one thing I heard recently from an astrologer, and I'll try to close with this, is vanity will save your life and that stuck with me recently and that really helped me understand this whole scamming thing that happened to me at the mall that if it smells fishy and speaks fluttery words or maybe something's crooked but it's perfecting all this good to be true stuff wishy-washy in and out energy that just Oh, look what I got, a beautiful present or a beautiful, like he used the representation, this astrologer, as an apple. But they look horrid, you know? They look like there's something wrong with their teeth or something. Or they're, I mean, I'm not trying to bite on anyone that has bad teeth, but you know something's fishy. But you can't pinpoint what the heck is their intentions. And that's what I'm learning. So just be very cautious when you're dealing with people. You know, is this for my highest good? Is this, at the end of the day, going to save me time and money and resources? Or is this going to somehow take more from me than I really need? And it's something, a live and learn situation that all of us, in some form or fast, are going to have to learn. You know, when we see people project themselves onto us, or their energy is so strong and significant, like, we have to have a taste of their energy be very weary that even the most beautiful thing could also be shady even the most beautiful elegant bow inside we don't know the intentions we don't know their heart we don't know their maybe cobwebs of intentions that want to lure us and a lot of that has to do with you know if you know anything about vampires like there are literally vampires out there they suck people's energy out, you know. And then there's incubus and succubus, you know, who want to lure you into the trap of seduction. Like, they know the power of seduction. I'm not saying seduction is wrong, you know. I feel like there's, in society, we're taught that looking sexy is wrong or in some way you know, we're trying to lure people in. If you have the wrong motives behind it, yes, it can be a trap of, you know, incubus, succubus, who literally wants to prey on people and use their weaknesses as a tool. And that's what this scammer, this <laughs> upsetting person did to me, is they looked at the weaknesses, and it's like, I'm done with that. I'm done looking like I'm weak. Like, people can just use me, or people can, you know, I've never had someone, you know, put their will on me in that way. Like, any, like, a lot of people, you they've been in these situations of rape or molestation. I've never been put in that situation, but it felt very similar. Like, I felt like I was trapped, <laughs> you know, but nothing was done to me wrong, but in some way I felt violated. I felt exposed. 
and it's just a weary of caution even when you're all alone even when you have to walk a short distance to the gas station you know be very mindful of your surroundings be very mindful of who you interact people that say or claim to be your friend they're sheeps in wolf's clothing you know let's be real people because there's a lot of people that put on this mask they portray that they're for you they maybe like the same stuff you like i've recently learned that someone who i thought was a strong like almost a soulmate friendship connection you know because we're all soulmates whether it's a stranger meeting down the crossroad someone that teaches us valuable lessons i thought this person was actually a genuine person but underneath all that there was someone that was trying to suck my energy there was someone trying to use my weaknesses for their benefit of maybe spirituality and you know i i'm done playing that and it's like you know i've even had my fiance and many other people say you're very naive and all this it's like after all these situations have been happening to me recently and i feel exposed or in some way violated of my privacy it's really teaching me to not be open to certain things and you know not to close my heart up we're not supposed to close our heart up or guard our heart up, but just be very mindful of your energy be very protective of what you allow into your space whether that's your physical space whether that's your mental space whether that's you know within your prayerful vision you know of anything surrounding your life uh, you get the point but I'm just saying like be very careful because we're at a very crucial time in you know history humanity especially coming into 2020 you know all the things that we've gone through th since like 2016 I feel like um, some people have said like 2016 was a point of awakening also 2012 We are entering this time coming into 2020, especially with, you know, how the different planets are lined up and everything. We're, we're, we're really going to have to do away with things that aren't working for us. You know, we're going to have to level up in some sort. You know, hard to break it to you, but yeah, we're going to have to be very mindful of what we allow in our life. And we can't play on this facade that you know we're this elegant angel and we're just going to be trod upon every people that comes in our purple vision but be very mindful of who do you interact you know is this person that claims to be your friend do they sincerely care about you for their profit and gain or do they sincerely care because they just want someone to listen or they using you and it's like i feel used and i i've been there with people so I'm learning to really step up my game. You know, if if I'm getting that di direct guidance within myself that says no, say no. You know, it's really hard, especially if you're dealing with maybe people that you feel like are higher up of knowledge or more firm. And it's like, because the thing is, you don't want to sound like as a woman, like you're a control freak. But at the same time, you don't want to discredit your value in some ways. So it's like, that's something I'm really having to work on myself. Is truly being myself, truly expressing myself. Even though, you know, people don't get it. People may not understand me. Which is fine. That's kind of like a little bit what's going on with a lot of cancers. A lot of people are not understanding what the heck's going on with us cancers. And that's fine. <laughs> I guess we're a mystery to some people and it's fun. I don't know. Um, but all in good fun and all good honesty, you know, just be very mindful on your daily, daily rounds of life. Whatever throws at you is just be mindful. You know, are you being questioned in your mind about something or you're getting that direct guidance? I mean, literally within your guidance system and you'll know it and you'll feel it within you. You know, is it giving you that direct answer you need? Or is it just giving you egotistic base saying, we got to figure out this, da 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 I, know, I don't know what I'm doing here, da 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 It's like chaoticness. Or is it just giving you that direct guidance, like, this is, this is it. 
say this, don't do this, da da da, like, there's a flow to it, there's, like, persistent, you know, it's not mumble jumble and I can't even understand, it's like anxiety, you know, if it makes you feel anxious, that's pretty much your body telling you you're out of alignment and you need to get back into alignment, so pretty much do, in a good sense, with good pure intentions, do what feels actually good to you. If it gives you that anxiety and veers you off into all these uh, fears and worries, then you're out of alignment. And I'm learning that self to stay focused. Stay focused in the present moment because if you veer off all these fear-based ideas of reality, you know, you're going to shift yourself and <laughs> pretty much burn yourself out. And you wonder like, why am I so drained? Well, maybe you've given in to these vampires who just want to suck the life out of you, literally. Uh, I, I recently saw this funny video. Uh, I'm not going to say what <laughs> Where someone literally sucked the life out of someone and they made them all old and shriveling. I'm like, what the heck is this video? I about died laughing, but literally, suck the youth out of you, suck the life out of you. If someone's doing that to you, then it's like, it's really time to reconsider who you're associating with. You know, are you getting more out of this situation or less? Are you feeling drained to the bone of your dry? You know, there's always in these situations, especially, you know, if you have responsibilities, if you have work or finances or family a home where we have to reevaluate you know how can we in the pure intention of heart be sincerely happy in this situation that we can not be in fear not weaver into this squirrel trap of our mind and get stuck there or just fucked over by people but really really get back in alignment you know, vehicle has to get aligned, you know, has to make sure the breakers are working, has to make sure the transmission's working, you know, people need that, they need a transmission renewed, you know, um, so yeah, just be very careful, you know, not to feel like you're being pawned by people, and if you've been pawned by people, that's a really shitty place to feel, like someone's taking advantage of you of some kind, so do be very mindful you know, try to stay centered, try to stay back in alignment with a pure intention, a pure heart that, you know, I want to feel good in life. I don't want to feel like I'm being, having a panic attack because I just, you know, gave all my resources to people. Because that's the thing, we've been in these predicament with people where we feel like we have to give, give, give our money, a life away, and we have nothing to give back to ourselves. That's when we're really screwing up ourselves. That's when we really get back in it. Or that's when we really feel anxiety attack and depression and overwhelmed and like, what the heck happened to me and my energy? <laughs> Take some salt baths, you know? That's been something I've been really wanting to do, but we only have, you know, a shower. So, anyways. I hope that helps someone out, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.